only around two hours until sunset, so time to get into the forest and take some last pictures of the day. Day some, yeah, squirrel photography again, but over the course of the last two months, I was trying a bit more remote photography, and we will do that with uh, whatever remote Pixel Pro, I think, and we try the Snapbridge app again, see how that works out. That looked a bit like my squirrel friend. <laughs> At least one of them could be. Uh, I would not know what else would have that kind of fur color. Looked like a squirrel. And before we get into what I got this evening, let us have a look onto my first steps into remote squirrel photography with a wide-angle lens. Here you see two of my cameras prepared for remote photography. First of all the Z6 and my old D750. Uh, this one with a remote Pixel Pro whatever remote and this one I will try with the Wi-Fi connection in the Snapbridge app. I've done that in an older video. And uh, I already did some remote with the uh, yeah, DSLR the other day and I worked quite fine. So today we also tried to get video. My first days did not produce perfect shots, but they gave me an impression on which settings and what lenses to use. Now I was ready to work it further out. I guess we're ready to start. Thank you. 
today I'm also just trying to photograph with a wide angle from the height directly because uh, I saw that the squirrel goes into the branches right in front of the height sometimes. So I really want to try that out. I'm not sure if it's going to work. Quite exciting how yeah close this animal comes to the hide actually just like climbing onto the branches right in front of here looking a bit at the lens <laughs> that's a new level I guess I'm not like super happy with uh, the background but it's uh, good to see that the squirrel wants to work with me um, that's always great um, that it actually comes up so close that I could actually try. So I've been doing this for quite some time already, a few months. I didn't have too much time to go out, but I was always like, yeah, every few weeks I'm out at the same spot and trying to get something different with the animals. Today the squirrels let me wait a bit longer, but okay, it can always happen. Normally they show up like after 10 minutes, they do live here.
especially now the fall colors are really pretty but uh, you have to be fast to really get them but then you also have the fall light which you can have for quite a few more yeah weeks because in the summer can be sometimes a bit harsh a bit boring It's a really exciting project so far, like coming back over the seasons, checking out what you can do, uh, recording details like the paws of them where like the nose really close up. It's a lot of fun. This episode was surely for the passionate squirrel fans out there. Do not despair, I'm working on the next one. I just have to get the squirrels trained for the next task at hand. Stay tuned and thank you for watching to the end. If you have any questions, leave them down below. See you soon. <laughs>